guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would show you guys a bunch of stuff that I feel like I can't live without. They're basically not like materialistic stuff, but things I feel if I didn't have them in my day to day living, my life would kind of change, I think, would be different. Like it would impact my life in a certain way. The first thing that I cannot live without is my cell phone this baby goes with me everywhere the moment i wake up i look for this it's my alarm it's my notebook my agenda my planner i check facebook instagram twitter social media is practically all on this baby right here this is how i contact my family my cousins for near and far everybody is all to this thing if i need somebody for emergency for similar guys my cell phone a contacts list address everything is in this so this is definitely the first thing that i cannot live without next thing that i cannot live without would have to be my daily lotion which is the saint ives or is it saint ivy's hmm this is a daily hydrating body lotion with vitamin E. It's supposed to help improve skin health by defending against dryness. It's fast absorbing, absorbing, 100% natural moisturizer, and it's non-greasy. This is my everyday moisturizing lotion. I use it for my whole body, for my face, every day and every night. And I've been using it for the past 10,000 years of ages that I've been alive. I only go through this. It doesn't break me out. I love it. I have like the driest snake facial skin every morning when I wash my face just with water regardless of what I used before and uh, my face just gets so freaking dry so this stuff does a job I don't think I can live without this thing because I remember just the other day I actually forgot to put this on because I was in a rush and my face was just like ugh it's like where's the water where's the hydration help me god next thing that I cannot live without is actually right here this is my tiger rice cooker. It looks like this. It looks pretty big, but this is actually a little small baby one only. This fits about six cups of rice only. And I practically use this almost every day for cooking. All you do is you pop this baby open like this. Ding! And you throw in your wash rice. Pop it right and throw in some water. Close this baby up. And it's like the easiest thing to work with. All you do is just press this little button here. It goes down. And it tells you when your rice is ready to eat. And you wait a couple of minutes. I mean, like maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And voila! Here it is. You get beautiful, delicious rice coming out of it. It's super just simple rice. Delicious. Um, mm -hmm. It's super fast. Super easy. And... Once you're done with it, you can just not deal with it and just cook what you gotta do. And by the time you finish cooking your like veggies, your meats, all that good stuff, go back to that, open it up, and just scoop those babies out and sit on the table and you're all ready to go. And don't mind me talking and eating right now, it's kind of disgusting. I feel like my rice is gonna pop out any minute and fly out to you guys. But I love this rice maker, it has changed my life. Next thing, I feel like. I still have rice in my mouth. The next thing that I cannot live without would have to be my hair straightener. It looks like this. It looks pretty beat up, doesn't it? Look at it. It's all icky and it looks kind of not completely straight no more. This bad boy right here, she has stuck with me since BC time. I mean, she is my straightener and my curler and my crimper all in one. I use this to do my bangs. I use this to curl my hair. I didn't use it for this hair this time, but you can use this to practically do almost anything with your hair. I don't think I can live without this because um, for those of you who have bangs, you guys know how hard it is to tame them. And to tame my bangs, I have to use a straightener. And just having plain hair is kind of boring. So I love the straightener. It does everything for you. And there's nothing really wrong or bad to say about it. I love it. So last thing that I definitely cannot live without would have to be... Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> um, last thing that I cannot live without would have to be the internet. It's become a part of my life. I... 
go on there to do Facebook. I check my email like every single day for promotions, for stuff that is happening throughout the world. If I need to research about something, if I need to buy something, if I need to go somewhere, I need a map, I can I go onto the internet. Everything I do is based off of the internet. I wouldn't be uploading this video for you guys if it wasn't for the internet. I mean, how would you guys be able to watch this anyways, like right now? Internet has become a huge part of my life and I don't think I can live without it. So those are the five things that I feel I can't live without. I hope you guys enjoy those five things that I chose. And let me know what your five things are in the comments down below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on my next video. Bye!